last three things on your pie chart are converting between radical form and exponential form. So, radical form. If I have my index, I'm going to say m, to the x to the nth power. That would be radical form. In exponential form, I'm going to write my exponent as a fraction. The index to the radical is the denominator of your fraction. So this would be n over m. Notice where those went. This one on top, this one on bottom. So they're going to have you practice converting from one form to the other. If I'm in radical form, they're going to have me put it in exponential form. This would be t to what power? The 4 goes on top and the 5 goes on the bottom, so t to the 4 fifths power. If you take intermediate algebra and college algebra, we'll put numbers in there and actually have to solve them, but for right now we just want to practice the switching around. x to the 1 third power. So, the 1 goes with my x, the 3 is the index to my radical. Now, of course, we know that we don't really need x to the first power, so we're just going to say it's the cube root of x, and that would be your answer in the best form. Number 18, write it in exponential form again. Now, in this case, there's not a number written in there. We know that if there's not a number written in there, that's a square root, and that the index is understood to be a 2. So, this would be n to the... 5 halves power, right? If my denominator is 2, it's a square root, and on square roots we don't need the 2 it written in there because we understand it's a 2 instead of having to write it in there. All right, so they will have you do some practice here and then try to get your answer in the best form. If it's to the first power, we don't really need the 1. If it's a square root, we don't need the 2 written inside on a radical. And that is all of the topics that you have on your pie chart. So you should be able to finish those up and be ready to take the final.